Oh dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have a story to tell you about Mother and Father Raven and an attempt by a sorcerer or a black magic person to mind control them while I was while I was sitting outside uh, in the late afternoon one day last week. So I don't know, I'll say right at the beginning, I don't know who the mind controller or sorcerer was. Uh, the black magic person. I just don't know who that was. It, it had been some days and Mother and Father Raven had been off having adventures someplace else in the neighborhood, not around my place at all. I was sitting outside in the late afternoon and then I heard Father Raven having a conversation with this human being who was trying to convince Father Raven to behave uh, cruelly towards me to start making mean comments at me while I was sitting outside and, and to try to frighten me and so forth. And that was a quality totally uncharacteristic of Father Raven. He's, he's very wise. He's usually very open-hearted and friendly. You know, he only gets stern if there's somebody who's behaving meanly towards somebody else, whether it's a human being, say a man or a woman, behaving badly towards a child, cruelly, or, or uh, the hawks trying to injure the songbirds. He, he's a constant champion of the songbirds. He reminds me of the Sikhs of Far East, how they used to champion the, the poor and the weak and the humble. He's got that that wonderful quality about him. And Mother Raven is different from him. She's, she's usually warbling happily. She sounds different. And she's very maternal when she has children around. The children are her main priority and she does all that she can to teach them, to educate them and protect them. So there are these two wonderful individuals in the community, Father Raven and Mother Raven, right? But, but then there was the sorcerer attack the black magic attack and humans have a way of getting into the brain of, of birds and affecting their brains briefly, right? And so this happened to Father Raven, but I was very confident because I was friends with them both, you know, I've always treated them fairly. Occasionally I give them treats, always I compliment them, I thank them for their help. I'm very respectful of the ravens. so. I know that they have their own intelligence, a separate intelligence from the humans, right? And so I was confident that the time that it took for him to get from where he was a ways away to my place, I could explain to him what was going on and he would change back to his own personality. And that in fact was what happened. He was sitting on a tree over there uh, on my property line and Mother Raven found him. and. He, he said that he had like a dizziness. He felt dizzy in his head or lightheaded. And of course that makes it difficult to fly. And she, she came and rescued him there. It was so great. And she brought him over to the telephone poles at the end of my property. I saw them both sitting close together, facing the view over towards the Simi Hills. And there was a light wind blowing and I could only imagine that Mother Raven thought that that he would feel better and his head would clear because of the light wind that was he had plenty of oxygen coming in and so they sat there for a while it was so cool and then he recovered and then they went away and and what that means to me is that you know we humans we have a responsibility towards all the beings on earth not to mistreat them you know we wouldn't like to be mind controlled, would we? And so why should we take advantage of the ravens who are so open and kind hearted and such wonderful foragers here on earth and such good protectors of the songbirds, which are very important to the ecology of earth? You know, so I'm, I'm asking you, please consider and, and treat other beings here on earth just as you wish to be treated. Don't you think that's good? And it, it's not just for the beings you've never thought of, the birds and the lizards and the pack rats, the coyotes, it's, or the hawks, all of the beings. It's also for other human beings of all sorts. If we could treat them with as much respect 
as we would like them to be treated, why, the world would be a wonderful place, wouldn't it? So, please be kind to the ravens. Please be kind to all the beings you perceive as being smaller or weaker or less capable of protecting themselves than you feel you are yourself. I ask this in the name of the all. And because this is a free will planet, I ask you please to abide by the tenets of this planet, especially during the ascension process. It's very important. If you want all the ascension gifts, you have to obey the rules of this particular planet which you've chosen to reincarnate upon, don't you think? It's very important. Free will for all beings. And serve the all, don't serve yourself, you know? You're part of the all, you can serve yourself too, but consider the bigger picture. All the beings everywhere on earth and everywhere in the universe. Those are our charge, our sacred charge. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. See you at my wonderful world-class WordPress website, Awakening with Planet Earth. https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com.